February is Black History Month and we're continuing to spotlight black men and women making an impact in the community. This week we're featuring a Texas teacher whose viral videos on TikTok are drawing attention to black men in education. I talked to content creator and teacher Marcus Bornslater about the importance of representation and the difference he's making in the classroom. Making their mark, celebrating Charlotte's black history. It's easy to see why Marcus Bornslater's students love him. He greets his students daily with personality and style, and with more than 500,000 followers on TikTok and nearly 250,000 on Instagram, he's making an impact in the classroom and on social media. My first week, the kids in my classroom, they like follow me on there, they found me on there, mm -hmm. and then they like check in with me every single week, and they would really look forward to it. Born Slater, who is a former Division One athlete, didn't always envision himself in the classroom. Honestly, I never really gave it much thought. My friend and my old job were talking one day, and he was like, you'd be a really good teacher. And I was like, no, nah, I think I would be. But he was like, oh, his kids have no role models, and he felt like I'd be a great fit for the environment. But it's not just his vibrant personality that makes him stand out. He's one of a small number of black men in the classroom. Nationwide, black men make up only 2% of the country's more than 3 million public school teachers. So I feel like my relationship with my students is different. Like me being a black male, I'm in a minority based school, so a lot of kids kind of look up to me more like a big brother or like a dad. He says being a young teacher who's also popular on social media helps him connect with his students. Like social media and stuff, I'm involved with that a lot of trends they know so I can relate with them on like several different levels. Often sharing the sweet. You're the best teacher. I enjoy playing catch with you every recess. You are so fun. And funny moments on TikTok. You look like LeBron James if he was a South Pass kid. <laughs> Yo, they cooking me. That's crazy. But his impact goes beyond social media. You kind of have like no idea the impact or the influence you have on their lives. Yeah, that, Johnny, come join us. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun interviewing him. Um, and it's so important to see black men in the classroom because, you know, as I said in that story, only 2% um, nationwide. So it's definitely important to see that representation and see men in the classroom as well. He's found his calling. Yeah, He's found absolutely. His calling. He seems like he really enjoys it just as mm -hmm. much as the kids. My yeah. I loved everything about your package, CJ. I thought mm -hmm. you did it so well. And I loved how you shared his story. And there were pictures of the kids and how happy <laughs> they were. This reminds me, I have a teacher. Um, when I was in the third grade, his name was Mr. Childs, and he was one of, he was my first black teacher. But I always remember him mm -hmm. because I remember being like, "Oh my gosh, like he looks like me. Like I can mm -hmm. relate to him on a different level." And there were things that we would have conversations about. And he actually pulled me out of the classroom and spoke with my parents and thought that I was very special and smart. And so I ended up doing a whole summer program where I got a full scholarship to private school because wow. he saw something in wow. me and took that initiative to talk to my parents to enroll me in that program. So. Seeing stories like this with Marcus, and I know you have another one coming for us mm -hmm. later this yeah. month. Um, I think it's incredible. So yeah, great yeah, job. Yeah, it's wonderful. Donya, you were special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think we were just talking about earlier how the impact that teachers have mm -hmm. on you, and like, you know, they've got all these kids, but you've sometimes only got one teacher, and and the way that they uh, cater to certain students yeah. and make a difference in your lives. I mean, it lasts a lifetime. We're a still lifetime. here, adults all talking about one. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. wonderful. One. I had a teacher uh, when we learned long division. What age is that? Is that fourth grade? Oh, Somewhere girl. around there. Somewhere around there. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember. Her name's Miss Hoover, and she would have us put a hot, um, a red hot in our mouth. Ooh. We had to leave it in until oh, the problem oh. was done. But you got those bad problems oh. done, you know. That's you know, smart. Okay. The sweet spot is inside the the hot. Yes. You know, so you well, I like that idea, Anna. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, DJ. That was a wonderful story. Coming up in your morning brew. What do you think is the single?